first of all, happy Heart Month. Uh, so uh, today, uh, so first thing, like you know, uh, the blood pressure. What are the definitions? So these are based on the guidelines from uh, 2017 guidelines from American Co College of Cardiology and American Heart Association. Uh, so anybody who uh, the normal blood pressure is considered as uh, the systolic number, which is the upper number, is below 120, and diastolic number is below 80. Uh, which is the lower number and then elevated blood pressure is considered as uh, somebody who has a systolic blood pressure above 120 to 130 and diastolic pressure is uh, is basically from uh, it's still below 80 and then this blood pressure when you some considered as hypertension that's where uh, they're considered they're divided in two stages the number one the first stage is between the systolic blood pressure above 130 to 139 and diastolic number is the low number is up 80 to 89 and then the stage 2 hypertension is they have uh, systolic blood pressure above uh, 140 or above and diastolic number is 90 uh, 90 or above so and then there are further definitions where we can like based on the patient if, if you're having symptoms but they're a little more complicated but you have any chest pain or you have uh, you know shortness of breath and the blood pressure is like extremely high they're considered as hypertensive urgency or emergency situations uh, so whenever you somebody has so how to take the proper blood pressure readings uh, basically when you're taking the blood pressure make sure that you're well rested uh, you should not be exercising, consuming caffeine, or running around for at least 30 minutes. Uh, blood pressure should be taken in both arms in the first, in the first, for, for the first, very first time. And you are, you're going to use in future that arm which has a higher blood pressure to compare, or you, so to compare from the previous readings. Um, uh, then, uh, what else? Uh, uh, you, you also, uh, you know, make sure that you empty your bladder before you're taking the blood pressure because if you need to go to the bathroom or something, it generally raise your pressure also. Uh, and you should be well rested. Uh, so, and then if you have a high blood pressure, and which means the systolic blood pressure is above 130 or diastolic number is above 80, you should consider getting further evaluation or, uh, you know, by, by your doctor. And, uh, you know, and but God forbid, if you are having higher, pre you have a high pressure and you're having symptoms of shortness of breath, chest pains or blurry vision, or uh, in that situation, you should come to the emergency room because you may need to f immediate attention in that situation. So in brief, like so briefly, anybody who has a blood pressure so in summarize in summary if your systolic blood pressure is above 130 diastolic above 80 you are considered as a high blood pressure person uh, or uh, or hypertensive person because in the past the guidelines used to be 140 above uh, one the systolic blood pressure above 140 and diastolic number was above 90 was considered as high blood pressure but now American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association have become more strict about the guidelines uh, and they see a more benefit of controlling the blood pressure by keeping it below 130 uh, the upper number and low number below 80 and then you know obviously when you check the pressure make sure that you're well rested and you should not be exercising or consuming caffeine for 30 minutes before the procedure uh, before taking the blood pressure and then once you if your blood pressure is high you should consider or get immediate medical attention so thank you very much